Good morning, Ottawa. This is The Morning Shift, your source for your hip-hop R&B in the morning here on CHUO 89.1, your visitor urban station for your R&B flavor. Uh, I'm your host, once again, the Big Mouth on the Mic, Daddy Rich, and I got special guests in the house. I got Lauren J in the house. How you doing? What up, Joe? Daddy Rich, thanks for having me on. I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing great because you're here. Get to hang out with me today. It's awesome. Uh, you're a DJ from Detroit right now, uh, and uh, we're here to sit down and talk about what made you fall in love with music, hip hop, and R and B, and all that stuff. What got you started to become a DJ? Definitely. Well, starting now, um, I've I've been in love with music my whole life. Um, back when I was younger, I used to listen to the radio. At times, that was all I had. So I used to listen to the radio. I used to listen to like DJs in Detroit. Um, they used to do the mix. We call them the mixes. Um, and it would be like ghetto tech music and stuff like that. So I don't know if you heard of DJ Assault or DJ Dion. Yeah. Some of those are like really popular over here in the uh, Midwest. Yeah. And like they were dope. So I grew up with a lot of that. I grew up with um, a lot of different sounds, a lot of different genres of music. Like my mom used to listen to like contemporary, like soft rock and stuff like that. And then I was with my sister a lot. She was into like, the R&D vibes, and then my brother-in-law who was really into hip-hop, hardcore rap, West Coast rap, er everything. So I kind of had a had a nice little palette to start with. And then as life went on, I just kind of, you know, developed my own taste and was like, let me let me start DJing. It's, it's cool. I always was into the tech part, too. So that's what kind of got me into it. Since we've been through this big pandemic right now and DJing is uh, especially well here in Canada is harder because we can't really most of our stuff are locked down. There's not much events for us to do live events. Um, but most of my DJ friends are now doing uh, streaming on uh, Twitch, Instagram on uh, and all those stuff. Have you took advantage of that uh, as a DJ been trying to get more live uh, performances out there by using social media? Yeah, definitely. You know, what's funny about it is like, like I said, I've only been putting myself out there for real with DJ and uh, got my equipment, you know, situated over the summer and everything. And Instagram live has really been my venue. <laughs> so <laughs> But I haven't been able to go to the clubs or go out and do much here either. So Instagram Live and Twitch have been my my places of choice. And um, and it's been going pretty good. I mean, I'm able to, what's cool about this is that I'm able to reach, you know, a wider audience. Like, you know, I don't have to worry about trying to drag my friends out to a venue. Like, you're at home. You're not doing anything else. <laughs> Hop on live and, and vibe out. Yeah. And um, what's also cool is just taking taking advantage of some of the newer technology coming out. So like, I don't know. Have you heard of Twitter Spaces? No, I haven't heard that one. I haven't. Yeah. Heard that so one. it's this new. Yeah, it's this new audio only uh, feature that they have on the platform. Really. And um, yeah, and it's it's in beta testing right now. So like, only a small group of people have it. But basically, you can just get on and join a space and it's a bunch of other people in there you can talk laugh like with just your voice on twitter which is pretty cool that is so awesome. so yeah i went on there one day and just you know it's like let me play a few tunes and and then people got to you know coming in talking and was like oh yeah what's this song and stuff like that so it was a nice little vibe the internet has been a, a cool place to kind of like bring people together with music that is, is that is, and, and so true, so true, and I I feel it every time I listen to different DJs uh, around the world on Twitch uh, and streaming on Instagram and all that stuff. It's just you get this great vibe from them. Now, if there's any advice you can give to an up and coming DJ or up and coming performer, what kind of advice would you give them to get them started to where you're at right now? Two things actually. One, don't be afraid to take a chance on yourself and put yourself out there. Um, if it's something you love to do absolutely share that with the world like i don't think we're put here to like keep the things we love to ourselves like we should absolutely be sharing things like that and especially with our form like music and making people dance and have fun and like setting a tone for folks like that's that's something dope you should always share that so second thing that goes into that is practice Practice, 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 practice. That's what's gonna make you feel good about sharing it. And I know for me, like I, like I said, I've only been putting myself out there with it for a while, but I go live every week. 
I practice almost every day. And um, I always discover new music and find ways to get better and more creative at it. So I'd say just, just practice, find what works for you, and don't be afraid to try new things, try new music, new techniques, stuff like that. That is awesome. Now, where could they find you and hear more of your amazing music? So, uh, if I could get a drum roll like this part. So, I actually just launched a new website um, not too long ago. So, I'm at djlrnjay.com. Um, but if you're not into websites and stuff, I totally understand. You can just follow me on Instagram at underscore DJ, uh, I mean, sorry, at DJ underscore L-R-N-J-A-Y. And you can find, uh, find me on SoundCloud, uh, L-R-N-J-A-Y, Lauren J on everything. All right. Well, thanks once again, Laura J, for sitting down with us here on The Morning Shift. It was uh, my pleasure to actually talk to you. Uh, you requested a song. Uh, what song did you request for us to play for you? All right. So I requested. Um, so uh, this joint here is by one of my favorite MCs from out of the city of Detroit. Um, she's dope. She goes by Crimson Alchemist. And she actually did this joint uh, with a couple of producers out of France. So this is Storytelling by Mr. Moto, an ugly Mac beer featuring my dog, Crimson Alchemist. You're listening to it right here on CHUO 891 FM. I had to do your job for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Well, thanks once again. Let's get into it right now. Storyteller here on the morning shift. What do we say? Let's go.